Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and my how-to tutorial series. I was asked and I thought that I should probably go through a um, little bit more in depth what the cinematic camera is. I do not know how to exactly explain it other than that it is the free camera that you can literally look all around the map you can zoom in and you can zoom out and you can get to the areas where you regularly wouldn't be able to with this camera you can take a look at these odd looking i don't even know what most of these are their houses there is neighborhoods that they have at the background that we never been able to visit because we do not have a open world in The Sims 4 like we did in Sims 3. And with this meaning that we are limited with this camera to certain area we can't get further away than the certain limitations that the programmers have given us. But with the tap camera, you are free to roam as far as you wish. And even here, you can't, you can see that you can't tell your sim to come here. This is the furthest you can tell your sim to come and walk this bit over here. No. So there's also those limitations. But I am sure we all are already aware of these. Cinematic camera is the one that we, which I use on my time, time lapse videos, and it is either those that have transition of the old and new, or they are the ones where. Welcome, wagon. Okay, sure. Uh, it, or it's also used for time lapses where one item at a time or one change at a time happens per frame on the screen. And I use these both recording styles for my speed builds nowadays because the as the speed build that you think is where I would go into build mode and start building here right now, right there. But because I am quite a horrible person with the camera, I keep twisting and turning a lot and I want to make sure that the items are at the correct height and all this, so I go into weirdest corners, so it's not beneficial for me to try edit those because I get easily motion sickness, and it's not beneficial to you, my viewers, who have motion sickness. So I had to change my way to record and show you my builds, so either of us won't suffer. Hello, I'm conducting. Okay, I guess this save is new. I have only been building on this save, so I guess uh, that makes sense. So my apologies for all the pop-ups and welcome wagon and all that. Um, did I explain what cinematic camera is well enough for you <laughs> in this game? It is a free roam camera that you can use for multiple purposes. You can People use it for machinimas, people use it for uh, music videos in this game, they use it for technically anything that they can use their imagination for. For me, it is time-lapse and camera tours that I use it for. Controls are for some people who don't know any controls for any FPS or MMO RPG games, they might be very confusing. Majority of the simmers that I know, they actually move their camera uh, with arrow keys that are on the right side of your keyboard, or they use these up and down buttons, they use this for the walls all over again. When this can be page up and down, you don't need to actually use these buttons here, but you can just press it buttons up and down and then for the walls it is home and end 
but these we have gone through already, so you should know them by now. When you want to get into your cinematic camera, you press tab. And this is already something we went through, but very hastily, very quickly. When you are in tab camera, it means that your mouse is the one that you control. And you are basically, we would call this in first person camera view. So you're not looking down on a character, but you are the character basically. So you are in control of the camera with your mouse. And because my mouse is not exactly cooperating as it's supposed to, I am very sorry already if it does these weird niches and nudges. And because I am a MMORPG player, it means that I am all the time lifting my mouse from the mouse mat, so I might make these weird notches here. So keep that in mind, and I already apologize for the inconvenience it might cause you. We already also went through some of the controls for the cinematic camera and the positions that you can use for it, but let's go through some again. I'm just gonna go quickly through the W, a, S, D controls, but you can also use indeed the keys, the arrow keys on the right side of your keyboard if you so wish. Um, I recommend the W, A, S, D because Q is down and E is up. It's way easier to be with the same side of the keyboard on that point, so you don't need to go back and forth and confuse yourself. Okay? When you are on higher level, and even on the lower level, you can try to be faster by pressing shift first, and then any movement key which side you want to move to. The lower you are, the slower, even with the shift, your camera is. So this is with the shift, and this is without. And you can see some simmers do recordings like this, like they are going through the front of the house like this. And it's pretty cool, right? Yeah, I, I agree. It is pretty cool. Um, so you have to, when you're using cinematic camera, you need to give and make multiple recordings. You can't record it all at one sitting. Or you can, but you need to do a lot of editing. It's easier to make multiple little bits of video where you are already prepared and you know what you're doing instead of recording the whole process and then start while you're editing, you're looking at your two, three hour footage, you're like, what is going on? I don't know what's going on anymore. So what I recommend is always making one piece of a recording of a one thing that you're doing. Like for example, in this case, if you really badly want to do this, you need to record this movement. You get your camera ready, you move your mouse in there, and then you just do this movement. And as you go to your editing program, you can edit and cut out the moments that you don't want to show. These idle moments, for example, where you don't move, where you start the editing, uh, the recording. When I look at the house that I have, I want to show the all the sides of it. But for example, when I'm looking at this BFF house, I can see that there's nothing to show on this side. It's just teeny tiny windows. It makes no sense. So what I would do to intro do introductory of this house of uh, for time lapse, for example, I would hit, look at the road where I am, and if there is a place to put my camera... So I would hit up here, for example. I think this is a pretty good area. And to lock down a camera spot, you press Ctrl, and then above your letters, you have numbers from 1 to 0. The camera locks you can use from 5 till 9, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 
Uh, numpad numbers, for some reason, do not register for the ca cinematic camera usage. I do not know why. The programming must have something to do with it. As far as I know, it doesn't work, and I haven't found a workaround to make that work. So, Control F5, right here. And then I'm pressing Shift down so I can move a little bit faster to see where would be my next next camera spot and i think we could pull closer to the house like this and now it would be control six so we have now locked down two camera spots like so i think we need more spots because this doesn't still show the whole house so we are gonna be shifting through a little bit on here and we can do like so and now this would be control seven. So now we have the original, the very first spot, five, uh, five, six, and then a seven. And we went through a little bit of a tree there. If it bothers you, you can change the spot slightly. We can go even closer to the house like this instead. So we can take a look again. And okay, it doesn't go through the tree this time, so it's much better. And since we ended up this close to the house, I am actually gonna... Um, hang on, let me think. Um, I think it would be great to actually zoom out. With the mouse scroll wheel, you can zoom out. And I think this would be a great spot for control 8. So let's go to the first one again. So we are at the control 5. Then we are at the 6. We move to 7. And then we zoom out to 8. And yet still we have one more safe camera spot left. So we could consider... Show up the backyard. This is not really the angle I would use, but it'll do for the purpose of this, that we have zoomed out in here. And we can just throw a like an overview over here. So now the first, like to arrive into the house, cinematic camera would be starting from here. You press six, then you press a seven, you press eight, and then you press 9. And there you go. The first cinematic camera situation of your own. Done. If you are creating the time lapses like I do, where I give the house a makeover, and I arrive to the house, for example, in this, in this angle, this is the 6, I need to then exit this live mode into the build mode like so and in this time i would recommend to get a free camera tab mod uh, free build camera tab mod I, I don't know what it is actually called i'll link it down below i have already down uh, linked it on the first video but i linked it again and this is because you can't go into tab camera in build mode without the mod with the mod i can and it saves all those camera spots no matter what you do even if you're not in a tab mode it tries to go into the spot like, it, it tries to get to the angle, but it can't, because with this build camera, it, it just doesn't let you take as good pictures either. That camera is perfect for taking pictures of your build. You can take as, like, focused pictures as you want. You, we could take a picture of, um, what's her face? I don't remember her name. He's one of the vanilla sims. Um... You could focus on the entrance of the house, or you could just go inside this little zen garden here, even. Like you could take a picture of this, if you so wish. 
That's the cool key thing about the cinematic camera. You can do anything and everything with it. Pretty much. But let's say that I am planning to give this a makeover. So we arrived to this point of the house. And now at this point we need to memorize the angle that we are at. And what we see when we are at this angle. We see the front porch. We see this side of the house. So we can't go and change anything at the backyard. We can't change anything in the Zen garden. We can change only these windows and doors that are here. We can't change anything that this scene doesn't show us. Okay. So in this case, we could just throw any old rock here. We can re if you sh hold shift, it tries to replace all the same rock from every single area that the original rock is at. So I would, in this case, paint it by freehand. So, and then we would need to change the wall painting to whatever we want it to have. I do not know exactly. I didn't come here to give a makeover for anything, but we can do this anyway. And with the roof, of course, it paints the whole thing, so you can't control what it paints at the back, but you can control with an alt that it doesn't... With the shift, you would paint the everything that you possibly can. Let me show you if it actually lets me do it. Like, it paints... It shift paints whole room. So if there's a big living area, let's see if there is. Yeah, for example here. It paints from the inside and it also paints the outside area and some of the front as well with this shift. And sorry for the camera, with the shift, it, the zoom and everything is a little bit fast, even in the build menu. But like, so you can get the idea if I do this, would it show better? Yeah. So you can see the Zen garden in the middle, get painting if I hold shift. And then of course the front gets the painting. And then also the backyard over here gets the painting. However, if you hold just Alt, you paint one wall at a time. And you don't need to worry about painting too much. But you can just focus on the one thing at a time. When it's these tall walls, it's better to just drop down a level to from the roof down to see if you have actually painted the area or if there was a wall. Like, there could have been a wall here, which got the painting there. But now it worked fine. And you can always return to the camera and look at it like, okay, okay, so it worked fine, good. And now you could change these windows. I would change these windows definitely, but I don't feel like changing them now. So I'm just gonna repaint them, give the idea for you that you can do whatever you wish with this, really. So, uh, so slow. <laughs> Let's just change these. Let's change these. Okay, and then this door. Sure. Let's change the door. We can change the color of this lamp. We could change the roofing and everything as well, if if we would so wish. Uh, now looking at the roof here, I would probably. Pull in by holding shift, I would hold in the roof, clicking on here, doing the same thing here, and pulling these eaves in as well, because they were just unnecessary long here. And even possibly pulling this further away here, because why not? Why does there need to be a weird little um, stuff here? I, I, don't, I don't know why it would need to be there. And also, of course, since we are at this point, we can also add some flowers here, whatever, like plants, if you want to, you can do different kind of uh, landscaping for the build as well. And if you're done, you can click onto the back to the camera spot. You can then press onto the seven because it actually remembers it. And it shows the next angle of the house, and then an 8, and it shows you a little bit more, but add a 9, 
it gives you a little bit more to do here. It gives you this angle here and these walls here. This furniture over here. It's the whole backyard. Yeah, you could change the whole backyard without a problem here. You could ch replace all the fences and everything here and right now. And with replacing fences, I would use this literally a replace fence tool because it is so much faster. You don't need to fight with uh, painting the wall or the fence or anything like that. In this case, I would definitely change the gate not optimal on that spot i would i don't know that's quite hideous is there any type of gate that would actually go here is there must be placed on a shorter fence what shorter fence really okay so do we have any high fences then does this work this works okay sure fine i don't have move objects on this is why i use move objects on because fences and gates don't always make sense is this game. But here, if we wanted the same rock, now I could do the shift. We could repaint all this furniture if we so wanted to. Okay. And here we would probably want the orange benches, chairs as well. Sure. Then we can have, like, I don't know, this one. This one we can color up. This we can change. We have white lamps on the other side there we go then we can copy the same wall painting and then we just can paint that up and then we can return to the camera again and be like okay is this done is it okay what else would we want to add whatever you want honestly nothing there that you don't need to do there's like it's up to you honest if you are giving a makeover or a renovation for the house you can do whatever you want in of course i would change the windows because they have already been changed on the other side like so and there we go let's zoom out and there we go completely different look and what else would you need to know? In this case, you can go back and forth. You can control Z to go back. You can uh, hold it even. If you didn't like the changes that you have done, you can actually go back to the original completely. So there's no changes done yet. With the control Y, you can be like, okay, I did actually like that stone path. Okay, so... You can do that, but if if you go into the live mode and want to go back to the build mode, you see it didn't cha save the changes. There's nothing for us to go back to. We would need to do the changes again. In this case, it would be the wall paint and changes of the windows and everything we would need to do all over again. So keep that in mind when you're doing the makeover, if you want to save it as a time lapse on the cinematic camera. You have to always be in presence with it, so you don't mess it up. That's why I like the build mode, tap camera mode, because then you can only go into any build that you like. You don't need to go into live mode at all. You can just go straight into the build mode, never go into live mode in the moment, and you can't screw it up. So if you take the mod, it's only helping you to not screw up the makeover, basically. Then the rest of the job that you have to do with the recordings is to push them together on your editing software, whatever it is that you use. I use Premiere Pro myself. And to put them all in line, you get uh, off all the sound, you can make a voiceover for it for yourself, or you can put a music on it like I do. And then you just need to put the little transition in there. It can be any default transition that you can find. And just put it in between the old 
and new. And I can put a clip here basically to what I mean with the old and new. I don't really know if uh, I cleared out anything or if it was just more confusing. I'm not sure. But I hope that I gave you a little bit more in depth with it. To get used to the camera is to just use it. Honestly, you can't be perfect at it straight away. It might feel awkward. So all it is is practice. And what you do is you just go by yourself. You don't even need to record or anything. You can just go by yourself. You can just, you know, try all these different angles and you can go and go into like a zoom in mode and everything like you can you can you have to just do and try like what happens like for example here it was just pure zoom that happened here i moved the camera closer then i zoomed in with the mouse scroll and done you have to see what is aesthetically beautiful for your own eyes okay so practice practice do test test videos do whatever recording what you want and if anything is bothering you please do comment down below ask questions i can try and find out the answers to you and try to help you the best i can so i think it's time for us to leave for now and watch who are you Zoe, I think it's too, yeah, Zoe to dance her evening away. And happy simming to you all. I hope you enjoyed this video and I was even a little bit helpful. And I will see you in the next video. All right. Bye bye.